Y'all, do you remember a while back I told y'all when you're putting vegetables in your bags to first lay them out on a cookie sheet and freeze your vegetables, your slices of whatever, whether it's okra, squash, whatever, lay them out onto a cookie sheet and freeze them that way first and then bag them? Well, I want to show you how they turn out. I've got a bunch of bags of things that I've pulled out of the freezer that have been in the freezer all since last summer. It was last year's harvest. I want to show you how easy those things uh, stay together in the bag without clumping and getting all mushy and, and nasty. Let me show you. Okay, I've got several things taken out here. First, I want to show you my peppers. This is this bag of mixed peppers. Now, look at that. I can open up that bag and take out a handful at a time and they're not clumped together, frozen, and mushed together. See how loose those are? It's bag after bag after bag. They're all loose. This is green peppers. See how soft and, and flexible those are? This is okra. Okra that I cut up and I laid out on a cookie sheet and froze each one of them individual. I probably did 10 cookie sheets at a time in the freezer, in my uh, deep freeze, and then bagged them all. Uh, usually I leave them overnight and then just, you know, get them out of the cookie sheets and put them in the bag. But look how loose those are. That way you can reach in and grab however many cups you want or a handful. It's bags after bags after bags. All of my bags are loose. Can you see that? Bag after bag. Once in a while, they may be a little sticking, and you just give it a little smack like that, but they're frozen individually. See here? <clears throat> Tomatoes. I've already been using these. This is a bag of just chunk diced tomatoes I froze on a cookie sheet. That way, like today, I'm making a pot of chili. I can just reach in and take out what I want to take out. It doesn't have to be the whole bag. When you put things um, fresh into a bag without laying them out, they will all just freeze and clump together and just be a, a big mess that you have to use. It's all or nothing. That's loose tomatoes. This is cut up broccoli. This broccoli has actually been in the freezer, I don't know, a week maybe. That's uh, broccoli I just harvested. Look at the squash. All loose. A couple of pieces together, but just a little bit of smacking like that. And you can take out individual pieces. And you can still batter those for fried squash or put them in the uh, pan for stewed squash. I have a whole freezer full of bags like this. I didn't take everything out to show you, but anyway. And then, I also showed you how to roll out your hamburger meat flat with a rolling pin, and it will thaw out in an hour. This was frozen. Look at this. If I wanted to, I could cut this up, use it in two different, um, you know, recipes. I wouldn't have to throw the whole thing. In the past, years ago, I would just put the whole, uh, you know, whether it was a one pound um, package or a couple of pounds, I just put it in the freezer in the shape that it was in and it would take hours to thaw out. If you didn't thaw out your hamburger meat, if you didn't take it out first thing in the morning, it'd take all day to thaw out. This way, when you roll it out, look how thin, you roll it out, you can take it out in an hour before you use it, and it's thawed out. Anyways, uh, that's just a little short video I wanted to show y'all that this is proof what I was talking about. Lay everything out on a cookie sheet first. If you don't grow your own vegetables and you go to the store and you see a sale, buy stuff in bulk and then cut it up and do it like I did. Put it on cookie sheets and you can bag up in no time um, lots of vegetables this, this way. Now, let me also say 
the books, I don't care what book you read, you talk to an old timer, people are going to tell you that you need to blanch stuff first. There are things that need to be blanched, but there's also things that don't need to be blanched. Okra does not need to be blanched. Cut it up, put it in the freezer. If you blanch it, all you're going to end up with is slimy okra. Now, some people don't care about that. If you like boiled okra, that's fine. I do not. But if you try to fry it, you have a slimy, nasty mess. Um, squash, you do not have to. Cut it up fresh like this and put it in a bag. Do not, you're not going to be able to fry your vegetables. Now, here in the South, we do a lot of frying, so maybe other people, it doesn't matter to them, but we fry. They do not have to be blanched. Now, sometimes, a lot of times, actually, when you look at these bags, because this is not even near the bags that I have in the freezer, but okra, I do this two ways. I cut it up fresh like this and just put it in the on the cookie sheet first and then put it in the bag. But I also pre-bread a lot of times when I have time. I will go ahead and pre-bread as if I'm going to fry it. You know, your milk and egg batter and then in your cornmeal. And then lay it out on the cookie sheet. And then you have okra that's already battered and it's in the bag and ready to go and you just pull out what you need. That works out well too. I have also, sometimes that batter falls off easily in the bag if you do a lot of you know shifting and moving things around in your freezer. But I have battered, put it on the cookie sheet and put it in the oven for just a few minutes to just lightly toast it. And what it does is it causes that batter to stick. And then you, <clears throat> then you freeze it separately and then bag it. And that batter stays on the okra in the bag and it still stays loose. So anyways, I wanted to show y'all this. I wanted to show you the proof of how it is so much better to lay all of your vegetables out on a cookie sheet or anything. Just lay it out where you can lay it single layer and put it in the freezer first. Now, it doesn't actually have to be single layer, but single layer, then a layer of like wax paper, parchment paper, and then another. When I do my okra and my squash, I will do multiple layers just to save space, but always put some kind of uh, paper between the layers. All right, so anyways, I just wanted to help y'all out in case anybody didn't know this and didn't already do it, and um, just show you what, what I have. Bye.